The Anzacs gave their all at Gallipoli. 102,000 Australians have since given their lives for us and our freedoms. Their poignant last letters and diaries are held at the Australian War Memorial. From Gallipoli to Afghanistan, they speak to us of love and friendship. They've given us a greater belief in ourselves and a deeper understanding of what it means to be Australian. Every nation has its story. Anzac is our story. Outstanding Achievement Award. One man's quest to mark this occasion captured the imagination of a nation and both celebrated and commemorated the mateship and the sacrifice that is the spirit of the Anzacs. Former Australian of the Year, Lee Kernighan's Spirit of the Anzacs is a platinum selling ARIA number no. one album, spending four consecutive weeks at the top of the charts. It is the highest selling album by an Australian artist this year. This is a culmination of a remarkable career that has seen Lee's 11 studio albums sell over 2 million copies throughout the country. A true Australian triumph worth celebrating. Ladies and gentlemen, the Outstanding Achievement Award, Lee Kernigan. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Aria, for this in incredible honour. I don't see this so much as uh, an award for me as it is recognition of our soldiers, sailors, airmen and nurses, some of whom we've had the most remarkable privilege to adapt their words and their stories to music. And finally, if I could just leave you just with, with a few words from the great war correspondent, Charles Bean, who landed with the troops at Gallipoli. He was wounded there, but Charles stayed with the men in the trenches and on the firing line all the way through to the Western Front. And it was there at Pozieres in France in July 1916, Australia suffered 23,000 casualties in just six weeks. Charles Bean looked out across the battlefield and he wrote the immortal words in his diary. He said, many a man lying out there at Pozieres or in the low scrub at Gallipoli with his poor tired senses barely working through the fever of his brain has thought in his last moments, well, it's over. But in Australia, they'll be proud of this. And we are. We are so very proud. Thank you.